Hi guys, Drew here, back with another video, doing another growl review as usual, and in this game guys, the growls get the dub. They win 3-2 over the Worcester Railers. The goal for the growls today, Keenan Southers, finding his second of the season off a rebound. He really deserved a goal this weekend, he got hardest working player of the game in tonight, last night's game. Todd Skirving getting his sixth of the season, gets his second goal for the growls, Henrik Tickenden made a beautiful save and Skirving was able to find the rebound and get that into the back of the net um then Brad Budgel scoring he scores a weird goal he's near the goal line and just fires it right off the goalie's mask and goes right in didn't no players really notice it went in Nolan Walker's just there standing as it was past the goal line and then he just saw all the fans stand up and there you go he celebrated and the growls win 3-2 it was a really good game for the growls um both teams were really tired i found i predicted the last video that it would be like a 3-2 2-1-ish game um and that's what happened it was like a back and forth game every time the growls would score wars would try to tie it up and they did um so luke cavlin was in that it wasn't a big surprise because mckay had a struggle uh for saturday night's game but Cavlin seemed to play pretty well. He played actually really well. Um, if McKay was in it, it might have been a different game. But um, Cavlin seemed to play pretty well. Um, it seemed like at the beginning of the season, McKay got the starting job, but Cavlin sort of, sort of stole it from McKay. Um, just the way it goes, I guess, in this um, for the Growlers. The Growlers now are 14 5 1 0. Oh, they are second in their division behind the Worcester Railers. They are currently tied for second place in the league, um, tied with the Idaho Steelheads. And Worcester's just first in the league, and yeah. Um, so let's pray that the Growlers can somehow um, play well this Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday's game against the Iowa Heartlanders. This will be the first time the Growlers will ever play the Iowa Heartlanders. Do you guys think they're going to be um, playing a good weekend for the Growlers? Iowa is struggling in their league. They're last in their division. And I feel the Growlers could play pretty well this weekend if they if some players can come back down. Because there's players like Tyler Bolin, Isaac Johnson, Zach O'Brien, Orson Tabu, Zach Solo. And there are many more Growlers for um that has been called up to the Marlies. O'Brien scored his first goal last night and sent Tabu was on his line with Johnstone on the fourth line. So um do you guys think any of those players will be back this season? I think O'Brien will be back. Bullen has been playing pretty well for the Manitoba Moose and so has Johnson, so they might not be back. Hopefully Sintavo can be back. We pray for this to happen. Um and an announcement. Um it's not gonna be like a whoa, I can't believe this is happening. But it is one year anniversary of Drew Not a Hockey Guy. I didn't um I didn't know until I got the notification this morning. I was like, wow, I can't believe it's been one year. It just feels like yesterday I was publishing the account. Um, although tomorrow will be the first day I posted my first ever video, which was my favorite player from every 30, um, brought from all 32 teams. My voice sounded a lot different back then. I filmed the videos on my tablet back then and the screens would have looked very different. It's been a, it's been a wonderful ride. I've loved the journey so far. I was on Rogers TV last year and that, and that was a really good experience. I really enjoyed that. And there, this is just the beginning. Imagine what the future can hold. This is just the beginning of Journal of Hockey Guy where I was at 200 subscribers. Can you believe that? I know. Um, so yeah, um, the next Grouse game will be Wednesday and happy anniversary to Journal of Hockey Guy. Um, but that's going to be it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed If you do, can like this video. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can um follow me on TikTok. That is Juno the Hockey Guy. No space to that. Same thing for the Instagram account. You can follow me on um Twitter. That is at Felsome Drew. You can follow me on Facebook. That is Juno the Hockey Guy. No space to work. I was at 100 followers over there. Um, and you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. As I just said, we're out at 200 subscribers. I'm praying we can hit it by the end of 2022. That would be really cool for you guys to just hit that black button and subscribe down below. That's going to be for you guys, and I will talk to you all again Thursday. See you guys again soon.